We're at the park and look at this deer. Oh, it's getting spooked. Look how pretty he is. Yeah, look how pretty he is. I think it's a he. It could be a she, I guess. I don't know. The neighborhood park is next to this huge wood area and we always see tons of deer in the summer. You guys, this is a milestone right here. I am at the park by myself with all three kids. And it's a little scary, but we're doing okay. We're having a snack break. I brought the double stroller. Gray likes to sit in the front, Avery's in the back, and then Porter pushes his little lawnmower. So. He's that little girl over there. Yeah, she's seeing the deer. I just have to keep the stroller moving so that Avery sleeps. If I stop moving it, then she wakes up. And we forgot drinks, so I don't know how long we're gonna last here, but we're doing it. surviving we survived the park we did so good no meltdowns forgot the drinks but we survived Avery slept the whole time and yeah we're doing really good I survived the park with three kids it's hard <laughs> I will tell you that this is really nerve-wracking I don't know what I'm gonna do once like Avery's mobile I need my sister to get off work she has one week left of school and then I told her I'm going to the park with her like every day. So I hope she's ready for it. Hey guys, so we're back from the park. I ended up not really recording much from Grayson's baseball practice and soccer game. I actually didn't record anything from Grayson's baseball practice because I ended up chatting with some of the moms with some of the kids there because it was only the second practice. So I'm still meeting the moms and it was actually so fun. I'm definitely still the youngest mom. Like all the other two moms that I talked to, one was 34 and one was 36. I turned 30 next month. Definitely a difference in age there, but it was so funny because the two moms I talked to, they both had three kids. One of them had boy, boy, girl. The other one had girl, girl, boy. I obviously have boy, boy, girl. And then they both had infants. The one mom had an eight week old daughter and then the other mom had like a four or five week old son. So it was so fun. We had so many um, things in common. So I actually had really fun talking to them. And then Porter came along and he wanted to go play at the playground there. So I actually didn't record any of Grayson's baseball game or practice, I guess. He has two more practices to go. Anthony watched him while I took Porter to the park. He said Gray did good, except he needs to work on his swing. They start with the ball on the tee, so the kids just hit it stationary. But then they've been like doing half of that, and then the coach will actually like pitch it to the kids. And he said Gray just like chops at it, doesn't know how to swing a bat. So we need to work with him on that. But I did get a clip of Gray doing his soccer game, and he actually did really good. He scored two goals, which is mind-blowing. I should have recorded the goals, but I was talking to another mom and didn't get the chance to do it. But he did. He ended up the season really, really well. It was really cute. His coach went and got donuts for all the kids, and so all the kids got some donuts. It was really cute. We ended up giving... The coach a little gift we got like a $15 gift card to ice cream place that he him and his family could go to he's just been a really good coach really cares for the kids his son was actually in Grayson's preschool class this year the mom was the music teacher like we know them really well so it was really fun to get them a gift and we already signed up next for next year I think I already said that Porter will be playing and then Grayson he's gonna be with the same coach so that'll be super fun but after that, we came home and then Anthony and his dad just worked on a project on the house. We've had some water leakage come in and his dad was able to help us fix that and remedy it. I'm so happy because now all the lights are back on in the basement. We have been going for months, you guys, since like January with no lights in the basement. At first it was like no lights at all. And then it was like no lights in the first part of the basement, but lights in the second half. Now they're all back on. I'm so, so happy about that. I can actually see going down the stairs now, so super happy about that. But yeah, I didn't really record much just with Anthony's parents there. The boys did make a, they painted a birdhouse with Anthony's mom. She brought a birdhouse and they put some bird seed in it. 
So we put it outside. I'll show you guys what it looks like. So here's the kids bird feeder. They painted it all sorts of colors and Anthony's mom put bird seed in it. We haven't seen any birds come by yet, but we're hoping they come soon. What do you think, Gray? I think one of them is gonna eat them. Oh yeah, so we're watching for the birds, but they haven't noticed the bird house yet, so we're hoping they come soon. There's a pretty red cardinal that I've seen like on or that flies around our house here and there so I'm hoping it comes up because I think cardinals are so pretty and supposedly there's supposed to be like somebody who's passed on like coming through to say hi to you cardinals? we don't know that many people that have passed on but my grandpa has passed so maybe it's him saying hi I don't know I took that clip because we survived at the park came home Anthony's out with his friends I'm home alone with three kids just fed Avery but put her down and she's not happy so I need to hold her I made um dinner for the boys I actually went on DoorDash and DoorDash myself some Chipotle I feel like I need to reward myself for taking all three kids to the park by myself and doing a whole night by myself because I got to do the bath thing and bedtime and it's just a lot with three kids. So I'm getting me some Chipotle to fuel up. Anthony's not the craziest about Chipotle. So whenever I'm without him, I try to take advantage of that. I don't usually like order out food when Anthony's gone, but I just felt like this is a special occasion. So I wanted to do it. And they were doing $0 delivery fee and like $2 off the meal. So I was like, hey, you know, why not? I usually don't like to do it if like you have to do a delivery fee. I'd ra I'm one of those people that I'd rather just go out and pick it up myself and save the money. I know you pay it in gas, but anyway. So I'm waiting for that to come. Boys are gonna eat some ravioli and then we're gonna do bath and bed. And I can't decide if we should make cookies or not. I've been debating it. So we'll see what I come up. We'll see what I decide. Could make banana bread, but I think I'll wait. Because I like to make smoothies with bananas. That's been my newest, like, obsession is smoothies. I make smoothies during the weekdays in the morning for me and Anthony. And they come out really well. I just do a lot of frozen fruit. A whole banana. I've been switching between almond milk and orange juice. I like it better with orange juice, but we're out of that right now, so I have to do almond milk tomorrow. And then I do like some chia seeds because they're supposed to be good for you, and ice and uh, spinach. That's our vegetable. So just a good way to get fruits and vegetables in your system. I'm not a vegetable eater, but with these smoothies, I put so much fruit in it, I really can't taste the spinach, and so. Yeah, it's just a really good way for Anthony and I to get some fruit and veggies in our system. So that's been my newest craze. But I think that's going to be it for this vlog. Sorry, it's mostly me talking. We don't have too much coming up this week, so I don't know when I'm going to vlog again. Memorial Day weekend is coming up, so I'm sure I'll vlog something then if I don't vlog anything until then. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're enjoying the start to your summer. We are here hoping it's not too monotonous, like just trying to think of new things to do every day, which is hard when you have a newborn. So anyway, I'm going to go. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. bye. Say bye, Porter. Bye. Bye. Say bye, Avery. Say bye-bye. Bye. Say bye-bye, bye. Avery. Bye. Say bye. Say bye, Grayson. Bye. 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 Oh, Felix says bye. Felix, say bye. Bye. Felix, bye. Yep, bye. That's You're welcome. You're welcome, because I'm going to need that boat. And tell me the way, the way. You're welcome. You're welcome. But mommy can't do anything but float. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Mm -mm. <coughs> Watch out, thank don't, you. don't hit Avery with the baby, okay? I told Gray to sing to Avery. Can you sing her another song? Mm -hmm. Sing her a song. Baby shark doo 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 doo. Baby shark doo 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 doo. Baby shark doo 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 doo. You gotta guess so she can see you, Gray. Mommy shark doo 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 doo. Do mommy shark doo 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 doo. Look how big Grayson is compared to her. That makes me so sad. <laughs> she looks enormous next to her. Oh, careful, don't hurt her in the head. Baby shark.